What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to fix Assassin's Creed Valhalla if it's crashing on startup. This is the second time I'm recording this video so I'll try and keep it really quick as I'm starting to lose my voice. Before we get started with the tutorial, make sure you have a system that's capable of actually running the game. Number one, you can't have Windows 7 or 8, you need Windows 10. Number two, if you have an older graphics card, make sure to check the minimum requirements of the game as even some of the semi-recent Nvidia GPUs from the 900 series aren't fully supported and are considered too old. This game requires DirectX 12 support to even start up. And then the third thing that's really basic and easy to try is to simply update Windows and your graphics card drivers to the newest version. If you still can't run the game and whenever you start the game you get an MSVCP or VC runtime error then there's something super simple we need to do. When you start up the game for the first time it installs some required programs. For some reason yours didn't. Don't worry this is super easy to fix. Number one. Open up Ubisoft Connect or you play. Head across to the game section, locate Assassin's Creed Valhalla, right click and click View Game Details. Head across to Properties and then under Local Files click Open Folder. Then open up the Support Folder, Software, VC Redist and simply run VC Redist 64.exe. This will install the Microsoft Visual C++ redistributables that were released between 2015 and 2019. Simply clicking I agree and install, it'll install all of these missing programs that your PC needs to start the game. After doing that, you should be able to play it as normal, not getting the MSVCP or VC runtime errors. Super simple. Next up, are you using the Windows antivirus instead of a third party antivirus? One of the simple things that we need to try is allowing the game through Windows ransomware protection, as it can stop the game running properly. I've switched across to my laptop view over here. Simply press start and type in Windows space security. Then this Windows security window will open up. Simply head across to Virus and Threat Protection, scroll down to the very bottom and locate Ransomware Protection. Click Manage Ransomware Protection and then on this screen over here, if Controlled Folder Access is turned on, click Allow an app through Controlled Folder Access and hit Yes. If it's not on, then it should mean that this has no effect over your game and you have to continue across to the next step. Now I currently don't have my game installed on my laptop, but I'll demonstrate with another program. Simply click Add an Allowed App and then click Browse All Apps. After doing that, navigate across to where the game is installed. I'll head across to the folder on my desktop to give you an example. This one over here. We'll be adding both acvalhalla.exe and acvalhalla.plus.exe. After simply double clicking on it to add it and adding both of them, they should be on the list as such, which means that they're allowed through the controlled folder access in the ransomware protection. Great. Simply try and launch up the game and see if it works properly. If it doesn't, there's more that we can try. If you're using an N version of Windows, simply hit start and then click the settings icon. Head across to apps. Make sure you're on the Apps and Features section and then click Optional Features under Apps and Features. Then click Add a Feature and inside of here we'll be searching for Media Feature Pack. If you don't see it on this list and you're 100% sure you're on an N version of Windows, head across to the link in the description down below where we'll be manually downloading it. When you get here, simply scroll down and under the Download section, select the edition of Windows that you have and click Confirm. This will then download an installer, simply open it up when it's done and follow through the steps. Of course, you'll be selecting the 64-bit version as you're more than likely not using a 32-bit PC to try and game. After you've gone ahead and installed that, if you're using an N version of Windows, see if the game works properly. Assuming it doesn't still, if you're using a gaming laptop, then we need to tell the game to specifically use our powerful graphics card instead of our integrated graphics card. If I open up my task manager, you'll see an iGPU, the Intel HD graphics, and a dedicated graphics card over here. We need to tell the game to use our dedicated one instead of the really low powered integrated graphics chip that doesn't have DirectX 12 support. So simply hit start, type in graphics settings and open up graphics settings. Then you can enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling for some extra performance if it's not already enabled, but that's not important. What we're looking for is graphics performance preference. Under here, simply make sure you have desktop app selected and then click browse. Again, navigate across to where the game is and select both AC Valhalla and AC Valhalla Plus.exe. After double clicking on it to add it, simply locate it on the list, click on it, click options and then when you present it with this, make sure you select high performance and not power saving or let Windows decide. Click save and do it for both of them. This will force the game to launch on our high performance GPU instead of the integrated one if there's any chance of that. Then try the game and see if it works. If it doesn't, there's a couple of last things that we can try. Number one, head across to the game folder once again. We do that again by right-clicking the game, view game details, properties, open folder, 
Locate acvalhalla.exe, right-click, and then click Run as Administrator. This will launch the game in Administrator mode, giving it access to our entire file system, meaning that it should work the best. While it's starting up, hit Control shift escape to bring up your Task Manager. Here, simply locate AC Valhalla, right-click, and click Go to Details. Then locate it here again, right-click, hover over Set Priority, and then click High. This will mean that the game should run with the highest priority, taking all of the performance out of our PC that it needs to run. Hopefully, it's booting up for you. If it is booting up for you and you start experiencing random crashes, make sure to lower the graphics settings in the in-game menu. Let's assume that it didn't start up properly and it crashed out once again. What we're going to do is simply click Verify Files in this property menu. This will run through all of the game files on your PC, make sure that they're not corrupt at all, and download fixes if anything's broken. And if it's still not working, you're basically out of luck. There is one last thing that's really unlikely to work, but it does work for a specific few people. That thing is moving the game from a hard disk to an SSD if you have multiple storage devices inside of your computer. If you have this game on a hard drive and it's crashing out on launch, try moving it across to an SSD and launching it again. And of course, the final, final, final tip, is completely uninstalling the game and reinstalling it to a different location. Other than that, you'll need to contact Ubisoft support as you've tried basically everything. Head across to the comment section down below if you still need help and leave a comment there if you find another solution. Anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching. My name's been Techno, here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.